What's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how I turn my house from this to this. I'm James and this is Projection Mapping. First, you're going to need a projector. The projector I use is an Optima GT1080 HDR short throw projector. You could find a link to it in the description below. This is by far the best option for what you're going for, however it can get a little bit pricey. If you want to do more research on projectors of your own, make sure you include short throw in your searches. Short throw means that you don't have to position the projector too far away from your house while still covering the entire thing. Next, you'll need a laptop, Windows or Mac will do fine, and a connection cable to connect your laptop to your projector. Once you have all your materials set up, wait till it gets dark and bring out your projector, your laptop, and the cable in front of your house. The first thing you'll want to do is choose a spot for your projector. Keep in mind, whatever position you choose here will be the position you have to place your projector in every time you want to play the show. Start by shining your screen onto your house. Move the projector around a little bit until the whole house is covered by your desktop screen. You can change the angle to try to eliminate shadows. I always like to use tape to mark the spot I chose, that way I can make sure I put it exactly in the same spot every time. After you've covered the whole house with your projection, open the software that you're going to use to map the house. Today I'll be using Adobe Illustrator, but if you don't have access to that, use free programs such as Microsoft Paint for Windows and Autodesk Sketchbook for Mac. Pretty much any drawing app that's going to let you accurately trace your house will do fine. The next thing you're going to want to do is start to trace the major features of your house. This includes windows, doors, peaks, but nothing too detailed. Basic guidelines will do fine. Be sure to trace the top, bottom, and sides of your house as well. Identify shadows with a rough outline of the shadow. Once you finish your map, be sure to take a picture of your house with the map still projected on it. This will help me get a sense of which areas of your house are ideal to project on, and also how light and shadows fall. After you've finished all these steps, save your map as an image file. Then email both images to me, and I can begin mapping my show to your house. If you have any trouble with your mapping, feel free to reach out to me at my website, which I'll leave a link to in the description below. I hope you found this tutorial helpful, and you're one step closer to getting your house ready this Halloween. And don't forget to subscribe for more content and new shows every year.